Um, our next great awardee is Lawrence Benenson. Lawrence is being honored tonight as an outspoken and generous philanthropist committed to social justice, education, and protecting the environment. Because as you know, it is actually safer to do jello shots off of Charlie Sheen than it is to drink water out of our taps. And that's good in some cities. Anyone who knows Lawrence well, as many of you do here tonight, know that he marches to his own drummer and at the same time tries hard to get others to march with him. Lawrence came to North Star's attention at the end of last year as one of 17 New Yorkers among 90 people of, of wealth nationally who petitioned President Obama not to extend the tax cuts on incomes above a million dollars. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you that, to make the not the fight for the second homeless. He's on record as saying that he is philosophically militant about philanthropy. And he regrets that not more people, that more people didn't join him in the petition to Obama, but he believes deeply that donating excess money is necessary to ensure a healthy society. Absolutely. Because it really is crazy when you look at the notion of not cutting taxes for the wealthy and saying the way you'll pay for it is how by extending the working age to 70 when people aren't working now. It doesn't really make much sense. That ain't right. Lawrence is a partner at Benison Capital Partners, an international real estate company known for its integrity and for the generosity of its corporate and family members in support of charitable and civic causes. He credits his mother, Peggy, with teaching him at a very young age that, as a per that a person can always and should always contribute to the needs of others. She taught, taught him never to ignore people who were homeless, who asked for money on the street, but to share what he had. He took this message to heart. He says he is committed to social justice because, quote, life isn't fair and it should be. Lawrence holds the unusual belief that politicians should actually serve all of their constituents, not just the wealthy ones. That is what? I think we should rescind this award immediately for that kind of talk. He has also been active in progressive politics and supports organizations that promote civil and human rights, education, and underprivileged children, health, the environment, arts education, and the well-being of New York City. He's been a longtime supporter of Project Enterprise, the microcredit organization formerly led by another one of our honorees tonight, Arva Rice for his deep commitment to sharing his own wealth to benefit the greater community, for inspiring others to do the same. And congratulations on being the new host of Celebrity Apprentice. It is my privilege and honor to present this North Star Award to Lawrence Benenson. Lawrence. Thank you, Liz. What an introduction. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations to all the other honorees. Arva Rice was instrumental in helping me establish the Charles B. Benenson Entrepreneur of the Year Award at Project Enterprise, New York's premier microcredit organization. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Vinnie McGee, who was instrumental in getting my father on Nixon's enemies list. Now that's political activism. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I've never been honored before. I was delighted to be honored by the North Star Fund because I've never heard of it. <laughs> Sharon Wise of the North Star Fund learned of me after reading my name in a newspaper article. I had signed a petition to President Obama requesting that he end the tax cuts on income above $1 million. I am, dis I am dismayed that I was only one of 17 New Yorkers to sign the petition. I looked up the North Star Fund. Frederick Douglass was one of history's greatest activists. This organization is named for the North Star, the landmark newspaper he published. The North Star Fund helps people who actively organize and clamor 
for truth and justice. This is my kind of place. We have in America today more wealth, more goods, more food, more clothing, more houses than we have ever had. We have a house loan problem because we have too many houses and yet nobody can buy them and live in them. We, we, have, we have trouble in the country because we have the greatest indebtedness that has ever been. Wise men have all said that you must keep the wealth of the country scattered. We have in America today a condition by which about 10 men dominate the means of activity in at least 85% of the activities you own. It's not right now and it's not right then. The previous five sentences I have read were spoken by United States Senator Huey Long 77 years ago. The world today is a vastly improved place since then and over the last 30 and even 20 years. It can be much better. The world seems worse and more frightening because technology has made our knowledge of bad news instantaneous. That's not the technology's fault. Our unfamiliarity with how to react to bad news that happened five minutes ago lets the media take full advantage of the fears they have nurtured. Fear breeds more fear. Reactiveness and immediate retaliation have taken the places of thought and restraint. It is not human nature to wonder about other people's storage items. It is not human nature to care about Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Yet why does the news media care about and report who is gay? There are no reports that someone is not gay. Why does the media report who is a Republican and who is a Democrat? Government is about issues. And, repo and reportage should not be treated like a football game in us versus them terms. A homeless person is a person who happens to be without housing. But labels only serve to embolden preconceived notions. Groups come to the North Star Fund knowing they are legitimate, but needing financial assistance in a prejudiced world. Most of the populace has been drugged into a stupor by meaningless blather that stifles our instincts. There is a history of civil protest in this country. It has all but vanished, though, wiped out by complex permitting and regulations but most of all, general laziness and acquiescence. I am a fan of the North Star Fund because it helps already motivated people speak up for themselves and decry unfair social problems. Thank you. What, what is social activism? What is economic justice? They are mere euphemisms for doing the right thing. You are here tonight because you care about something. Please focus your caring. And then act. I'm here because I replied to an email. <laughs> so, organize groups, sign petitions, write letters and emails to your representatives and senators, and send them. Stand up for your rights and the rights of other people. For goodness sake, vote. Your influence counts. Use it. Thank you, North Star Fund, for honoring people's commitment to themselves. I thank you. I'd like to thank Isabel and Lucia, without whom none of this would be possible. And please, Please stay tuned for the lively panel discussion. Thank you. Lawrence Benenson, one more time.